Hi friends, another day, another ROM review or preview for my Samsung Galaxy S3. Today I am trying out the ROM known as the Hyper Galaxy ROM. Uh, I can show you, this is the ROM over here. 1.0.5, it's a small and fast 229 MB. This is a description given by the developer. Sorry, welcome to Hyper Galaxy, a ROM developed for people who like to build their own ROMs with minimal working base. Uh, it has very few apps, I can show you all the apps which is there in the it comes standard um, improved battery performance more free ram it's router and deoxidized and this is a small patch also that given uh, it says that it fixes force closes i haven't used this rom till now so i won't be able to comment on that anyhow i will sh uh, just show you how the steps how to install because i've already installed it i won't do it again uh, the first step you need to do wipe data factory reset after that wipe catch partition then advanced, you go to wipe uh, Dalvik catch, then install zip from SD card, then you should apply the first option and wherever you store it, I have stored an application and in the folder name is S3C, I have all these ROMs in mind, liquid beta ROM, hyper galaxy, so I already installed it, now I'm just going to reboot my phone, go back, reboot phone. Um, the one thing you'll notice that it has a Samsung boot up screen only. The last ROM which I had high on Android had a very different kind of boot up. I, first time I'm seeing an, a different type of boot up in that. It was nice. You think it's a basic Samsung with the sound also of the Samsung. You can see. Uh, this is a Samsung S3 lock screen. Only thing here, there used to be an extra chat on in between. It comes with three standard, the phone, the browser, the camera. It's the same thing. Just swipe across the screen and then it'll go to camera. It gives you stock standard cam. Uh, sorry. Okay. It gives you a stock Samsung camera. Um. What again? Okay. Now, yeah. This is a screen. You see, it looks like Samsung screen only. Uh, when you click on the app draw, you can see this is the least amount of application I've seen in any room. It comes with calculator, camera, contacts, clocks. No iPhone ready, which I like comes with the video player of Samsung, the Play Store, phone, messaging and S Planner. That's it. This has to be the cleanest ROM. I must say, it's a very very clean ROM. You can see it's very very smooth, smoother than most of the other Jelly Bean ROMs. But it hardly comes with anything. The rest you can install whatever you want. Uh, you select wallpaper for apps and folders. Sorry. Set wallpaper for, let's see, home and lock screen. It, it comes with live wallpaper. There was a ROM which I tried before. It doesn't come with any wallpaper and only one live wallpaper that's bubbles. You can see very very lightweight ROM. I've keyed in all the details. I'm just going to uh, log into Play Store for the first time and just download and install all the apps I want. You can see there's absolutely no lag. I don't know how the battery life is going to be because I haven't used this till now. Like I said, it's the first time I'm using this ROM. Blocking mode, power saving, my Wi-Fi is on. And about device 4.1.1 build hyper galaxy you can see that that's just about it this is another rom i cannot comment on any rom today is a pretty bad day for samsung as all of you know they lost the case in apple and they are asked to be pay they are asked the jury has asked them to pay one point some billion dollars for apple and it can be increased it will be increased by the judge it's really funny the same case Apple lost in UK and they have made to they have to give a newspaper advertisement saying that Samsung then copies. In South Korea, both Apple and Samsung lost the case and they were both their products were banned. But here there's a clear thing that Samsung had copied from Apple. The Galaxy S was a ripoff of Apple iPhone 3G, even the name sounds similar. But as you know, these technologies which Apple claimed to have made is made by other companies. You can see all the videos in YouTube. Well, the, the pin zoom, the shape of this phone. It looks like the iPhone 4 looks like the LG Prada. I don't know why don't LG Prada sue them. Samsung had touchscreen. I had a Sony touchscreen in 2003. Though it is resistive. It was there. And then I can understand how can this icon based concept be of Apple. I, if I was there, Nokia should sue Google. Because as you know, the Nokia N series phone, you press the application draw, you'll get like this type of app try only. I don't understand how they wanted the round shape phone, how will you design phones. Anyway, pretty sad day for Samsung. I hope they appeal it and they win it. And this rubbish patent system should be stopped anyhow. Okay, that's just about it. Now, like I said, I'm going to install all these 
uh, RAM. I'm going to ROM. I mean, I'm going to uh, install all the applications. And now, it's just about uh, this uh, another ROM preview. I'll be using this ROM for some time now, for maybe one week or something, to see how it goes. And I'll comment on the battery life then. Till then, bye bye. You can see all this is standard. Okay, till then, bye bye.